All right, you bastards, here is first build video for Destiny. Before we start, I need to say a couple of things. Main one is that Destiny does not allow a high amount of wiggle room on how to create your character. It's not an RPG after all, it's a first person shooter. But some cool combinations can be done and I always like to do melee stuff in any game. Destiny 2 being no exception. Considering that I've started playing Hunter, I've struggled with some explanations and didn't even test it too well. So now that I finally figured everything out, it's time for me to share with you how to play full melee build with Hunter. Before we start, we, I need to say that this build is inefficient in PvP. It's only good for PvE because in PvP you're just gonna get gunned down. The subclass that we are using is Arc Strider Hunter subclass because it gives us most benefits in form of melee combat. Gambler's Dodge is the dodge that, dodge that you want and as for others choose for yourself what type of grenade you prefer and what kind of jump you prefer. I prefer triple jump because well it's triple jump right? The sub, sub, sub class, I don't know how to say it otherwise, uh, is Way of the Warrior. Combination blow is the thing that you need to understand for this build to work. When you kill an enemy with melee strike, combination blow buff will start. That buff gives you health regeneration that is instantly activated whenever combination blow gets activated. And you also get increased melee damage temporarily, that's for 20 seconds. Note that the health regeneration doesn't subsequently activate whenever you kill enemies after that first trigger of the combination blow. It only goes for the first activation of combination blow. In order to counter that and constantly be able to recharge our health and melee damage boost, Combat Flow is an ability that will make that a completely viable option. When we combine Combination Blow, Combat Flow and Gambler's Dodge, we will have a vicious circle of being able constantly to recharge Combination Blow. Whenever you kill an enemy at the start of the battle, and every time it should be a weaker type of enemy, just so that Combination Blow can start, you will trigger health regeneration and melee damage. Then your dodge will instantly come off cooldown because every time when you kill an enemy with your melee strike you will recharge your dodge ability. And then when you use your dodge ability near any enemy your combination blow will also come off cooldown because that's your melee ability. That means you can constantly go around killing weaker enemies, being able to recharge your health after every single melee kill. Your melee damage boost will constantly get reset, so you never have to worry about not having that melee damage boost. That's the core and essence of this build. Deadly Reach increases your melee range when you dodge. That basically means you will be able to strike enemies from further away. Extremely useful because when you dodge you will be out of the melee range so you need to go back in again. And the last one is called Little Current. After dodging each art staff hit creates a damaging lightning aftershock. That only works when you have your super active. That only means when you're in your super mode to be more effective it's better to dodge first than hit. That way you will get little current effect. Because when you hit an enemy with arc stuff after dodging, then you will create a damaging lightning aftershock. As for the gear, I would suggest for weapons something like auto rifle or submachine guns, because they are very efficient at short range. Both Midas will work as well because it will increase your mobility, which could be useful in shortening the distance quicker to your enemy. As a power weapon you can use swords because they complement the build nicely. Whenever you're in a tough situation where there are many yellow enemies, 
you can just switch to your sword and just smash them. This build doesn't affect sword whatsoever, it's used as normal, but it's a melee weapon as well, so why not go for it, right? For armor pieces I can only say that I have no idea what type of exotics are there, I haven't found any that would benefit this build. The only thing that you can do is go to every exotic and legendary piece that you have and switch to resilience. I believe resilience is the best option for this build because it gives you more health pool or it increases your defense, I don't know, there are no stats like that in Destiny, but it generally gives you more life, more survivability. That is important because we are constantly in close range and we are constantly receiving damage. So resilience would be the best option for this build. Or you can go for health recovery, that would be pretty alright as well. While mobility is a stat on armor that you already have, because every hunter piece already has mobility. With Mida mini tool and Mida multi tool, you can improve your speed anyway. Now let's guide you through the thought process through the gameplay videos. It's actually pretty simple. When you kill an enemy with your melee strike, combination blow will start. When combination blow starts, you gain immediate health regen and also melee damage boost that will last for 20 seconds. Hit enemies when you have that combination blow, which you will constantly have as a buff, and when you're in trouble, dodge out of the way, because when you dodge, your combination blow cooldown will reset. That means when you kill an enemy again, after you've done the dodge, then your health regen will start again. The point here is that you need to find a weaker enemy when you're in trouble, so that when you dodge, you can instantly kill that enemy for the health regen to activate. Go crazy in, then when you're in trouble, dodge out, find weaker enemy to start health regen again, and that would be the whole thing that you're doing with this build. If you're in trouble, use your sword, that would clear tougher enemies quickly. Also don't forget that with every melee kill, your dodge is off the cooldown, and considering that you're constantly doing melee kills, your dodge will be off the cooldown, almost always. Anyway, nothing more needs to be said, I think everything is pretty clear now, hope you guys enjoyed the build, please don't forget to check out the description, it contains the secrets of the universe and meaning of life. Thank you for watching and see you soon.